This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Kentucky State Police are investigating after Covington Police shot and killed a man last night. Officers were called to a home on Frazier Street. This is right before 9 o'clock last night when they arrived. Police say the man shot at their cruisers. The officers fired back hitting that man. He was taken into custody about 1130, but he later died at UC Medical Center. A 16 year old is dead. Three others hurt in a shooting last night in Walnut Hills. Cincinnati police say this happened about 1130 in a neighborhood near MLK Boulevard and Gilbert Avenue. Officers say 16 year old Ladarius Evans was dead when they arrived. The three other victims are expected to be OK. Next week, we do expect to learn more about the state of gun violence in Cincinnati. Chief Elliot Isaac and Lieutenant Colonel Mike John are set to give a gun violence update at the next meeting of the Law and Public Safety Committee on Tuesday. The newly refurbished Black Lives Matter mural in front of City Hall was revealed this afternoon. A section of Plum Street has been closed for the last few weeks while artists renovated the faded mural. City Council moved $125,000 out of the reserve fund to cover the costs. The mural was painted last year following the George Floyd protests. Each letter was designed by a different local black artist. Time to get a check of the forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Steve. Tanya, it's a nine first warning weather alert day and all the threats are on the table for tonight and into the overnight. Right now, a tornado watch exists for a number of counties across the tri-state. We're going to see likely some severe weather as we head into tonight and early into the overnight. Rain and storms and heavy rain and a temperature of 70 degrees, 85 for tomorrow. Things quiet down on Father's Day, first day of summer, Sunday.